I've got here the brand new DJI Focus Pro and this system is just wow. This system is the forefront of innovation when it comes to LiDAR follow focuses. Not only does the LiDAR autofocus work incredibly well, being able to recognize and track subjects, but the system also provides an incredible automated manual focus experience through intelligent and free focus polling. If you don't know what LiDAR is, it stands for light detection and ranging. What DJI has done is utilize LiDAR's ability to map distances from the camera and convert that distance data into focus motor positions, letting you autofocus with any manual focus lens or camera. What I love about this tech is that it's an incredible tool for everyone, from your solo creators who want some assistance by adding some autofocus capability to their manual focus lenses, to production teams that have dedicated roles and dedicated focus pullers that can utilize a robust system like this. There is so much to talk about, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. To get started, let's talk about the calibration process to get a lens profile created. First of all, if you're planning to use this as a standalone product without using it with a DJI RS3 gimbal, all of your controls will be accessed through the Focus Pro Grips touchscreen. It's super easy to navigate with three compact menus, which we'll go a bit deeper into later. Step one, access the left side menu to access the image transmission page and press the settings menu in the lower right corner of the screen. Step two, set the LiDAR distance. This is the distance the LiDAR camera is to your camera sensor. By default, it's set to 75 millimeters, which is the standard distance if you're mounting the LiDAR camera onto your camera's hot shoe. Step three, press lens configuration and create a new lens profile. Here you'll put in the focal length of your lens. Step four, set your focus target to one meter away and make sure it's in focus, then confirm on the focus grip screen. Step five, set your focus target to four meters away and make sure it's in focus again, then confirm on the focus grip screen. And now you're done. You can set this up for up to 15 lens profiles, so you can set up all of your manual lenses at the start and you'll never have to do this process again. And when you need to, on set, on location, you can change out your lenses and you're good to go. All right, let's go test the autofocus on this thing. The most incredible spec on the DJI Focus Pro LiDAR system is gonna be its range. It's capable of working up to 20 meters or about 65 feet. That makes this autofocus almost as reliable and as robust as the phase detect autofocus system that you would find in your typical mirrorless cameras. The DJI Focus Pro does this tracking utilizing over 76,000 ranging points on a 70 degree beam angle, which is a nice amount of coverage because that means I can still be tracked even if I'm on the very edges of the screen. As a matter of fact, the 70 degree beam angle is actually a wider field of view than the 50 millimeter lens I have on right now. So technically it can actually track me even though I'm not in frame, which is something that a traditional autofocus system can't do. And this is incredibly useful for tracking a moving subject on a gimbal, especially if you're not using an autofocus lens or have a dedicated focus puller. And this autofocus isn't just spot autofocus, it does subject tracking. The LiDAR camera uses AI recognition to detect people and cars, and you can use the focus wheel while in autofocus mode to switch between subjects that you want the autofocus to lock onto. And of course, it's great for solo shooters like myself where I have to be in front of the camera. It gives me the confidence to be able to move around the frame and know that I'm in focus, even at a wide aperture like T1.9. And I genuinely can't get over how incredible it is that I'm able to get autofocus on a cine lens, especially an anamorphic lens zoomed all the way in to 100 millimeters. And you don't always have to use subject tracking. You can use spot focus and nail focus racks like this. Something you might not know is that while LiDAR autofocus isn't gonna be the end-all be-all best autofocus system available out there, in certain scenarios, it actually does outshine your traditional phase detect autofocus that you can find in your mirrorless cameras. For example, the phase detect autofocus in your mirrorless cameras require some level of light in order for it to autofocus properly. But since the LiDAR system shoots out its own laser beams, it's able to perform autofocus in extreme low light conditions. Okay, so I wanna to get to wireless focus pulling with the focus grip, but first let's go ahead and take a look at those menus. On the main page, the screen is gonna display the current focus mode, the lens profile you're currently on, and what the focus position is currently set to from minimum focus to infinity. If you pull down the top menu, you'll have access to a touchscreen lock, Bluetooth pairing to pair your record button to your camera, a focus motor calibration menu, and general settings like language, device information, and firmware version. If you pull up the bottom menu, you can configure the dial function between focus and zoom, dial speed, dial dampening to change the friction of the focus dial, reverse dial direction, what the M button does, 
and focus mode or torque. If you pull out the left menu, you'll get a live feed of the LiDAR camera as well as controls over the focus point. By default, it's gonna be set to wide mode, which will attempt to detect subjects like people and cars, but if there's nothing there, then it will default to center spot focus. If you press the focus mode icon on the bottom left, you'll switch it to flex spot, which lets you manually draw a fixed square on the screen for the LiDAR to focus on. There's a magnifier icon in the bottom center, which will zoom in the view of your LiDAR camera feed to two times. And finally, you have a settings button on the bottom right, which will take you to your lens profiles and LiDAR distance settings. You can also change the autofocus tracking sensitivity here between a range of one through five. Next, let's take a look at the battery life. In its default configuration, everything is powered off of the focus grip, which uses these RS BG21 battery grips. On a full charge, DJI advertises that you can get two and a half hours of working time. Since these grips are detachable, you could always buy additional batteries to swap out throughout the shoot. But if you want to reduce the amount of battery swaps during a shoot, you can actually power the grip off of a V-mount battery. I run my camera and monitor off of a single 155 watt V-mount for most shoot days, so I'll probably run the DJI Focus Pro off of it as well. So if the V-mount battery ever does die, it's just one battery I need to swap to keep the whole system going. All right, so what if you want to pull focus with the grip? Well, it's actually super easy to go from autofocus to manual focus by pressing the M button. When you do that, you can now control the focus using the focus wheel on the grip. And thanks to the ability for you to be able to control the dampening on the focus wheel, it's actually one of the best feeling focus pulling systems I've used. Another seamless way to go from autofocus to manual focus is actually to utilize the automated manual focus in this system, or also called AMF. With this turned on, when the focus motors pull, the focus wheel itself also physically moves, giving you a much more tactile feedback of what's going on. And if you wanna switch over to manual focus, you basically just kind of stop the focus wheel, and then you just press the M button, and then now you're in manual focus. This is a super quick way to basically have this human machine interaction. Again, this is probably the smoothest follow focus system I've tested to date, and it would work really well either on a tripod, handheld, or on a shoulder rig. And lastly, DJI is also introducing the Focus Pro hand unit. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm probably not the right person to tell you whether or not this is a good wireless focus pulling system. I've never been on a production before, I'm not a focus puller, so you know, take my opinion with a grain of salt. But I will say, from my limited testing of the hand unit, it's very intuitive to use. It's lightweight and looks like it'd be easy to rig onto a first AC's focus pulling setup, and it feels smooth. It can be powered off of a V-mount battery or use Sony MPF 550 batteries. And the last cool thing I wanna show you guys is that this system isn't just for pulling focus. You can actually use three motors at the same time to get a proper focus iris and zoom, AKA fizz setup. The LiDAR unit can control your focus while you control iris and zoom if you're just using the focus grip, or you can control all three if you're using the hand unit. And check this out, with this setup, if I let the LiDAR system handle the autofocus and I control the zoom and I put everything on a slider, I can really easily achieve a dolly zoom effect. Okay, so let's talk about price and availability. On release, DJI will be selling the Focus Pro in these two kits, the DJI Focus Pro Creator Combo, which will include the Focus Pro LiDAR, Focus Pro Grip, Focus Pro Motor, and a Focus Pro Carrying Case, and the DJI Focus Pro All-in-One Combo, which will include everything from the Creator Combo as well as the Focus Pro Hand Unit. If you're interested in checking out the DJI Focus Pro, I'll put links in the description down below. All right, that's it for this one. What do you guys think of the development of LiDAR technology so far? Is it finally good enough to the point where it's something you're wanting to invest into, or are there still things and features that are missing that you would need to kind of get you over the edge? Let's talk about it in the comment section down below. While you're down there, make sure to hit that like button and get subscribed if you want to see more content. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Peace.